Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, today I've got for you the Mad Bean Lavash. This is Mad Bean's take on a love pedal Les Lias. So um, it's similar in operation. You have volume and a gain. You have a three-way clipping switch and a boost switch. And uh, between everything, it's pretty versatile. You can get just about anything from a clean boost to a low gain to medium gain. It'll flirt with high gain, but it gets kind of ugly when you try to push it that far. And But I'll show you that. Basically, um, there's not a whole lot to it, so I'll, I'll try to uh, go through it pretty quick. But uh, yeah, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Alright, so with the um, with everything at noon, the left switch is centered and the right switch is to the left. That means uh, everything is basically stock. When you switch this switch to the right, that engages the boost. And the up and down positions of this switch are different clipping options. So right now it's just a basic volume and gain. sort of kicks in right around between two and three o'clock on the gain control. Um, you need a fair amount of volume to get unity in this circuit, but that's a quirk of the Leslieus as well, as far as I understand. So um, let's hear what we got for clipping options. Start. We'll start with the up position. going to strum and switch back and forth so you can hear the difference. Starting in the middle position. So as you can see with the up position you lose a bit of volume and you gain a bit of clipping or saturation if you will. And let's hear the difference between the upper and lower positions. So I guess if you want to go in terms of um, um, saturation, the middle position has the least saturation but the most volume. The lower position has the, the middle amount of saturation um, and the middle amount of volume, I guess. And the upper position has the least amount of volume and the most amount of saturation. So that's how I would describe that. So uh, let's hear what the boost switch does. Right now the left switch is in the center. So the boost switch is kind of cool because it gives you both a little bit of volume and a little bit of saturation. So basically any of these three positions or what have you, you'll get a bit more of everything with that switch. So that's really cool. So um, that's about all I have for you for this pedal. It's, it's pretty straightforward, but it, you can get a lot of different sounds out of it. And the pedal actually depends greatly on the transistor you choose. So if you decide to click the link in the description and uh, try to build one of your own, just keep that in mind. Uh, it's very dependent on which transistor you choose. 
Uh, right now I have a fairly low gain transistor in it and I think the lower gains tended to sound better. So, um, but that's just my opinion. You might have a different one. Definitely experiment and uh, you can get a lot of pretty good sounds out of this pedal. So that's it for me. Um, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Take it easy.